Today we are making BBQUS, which stands for barbecue sauce. Now, the reason we're making barbecue sauce is I have been watching Stephen Reichland's Project Smoke. And in that series, he was making all kinds of different barbecue sauces. And this is how I got my inspiration. Because I'm inviting him for dinner tonight for a barbecued chicken with barbecue sauce on it to coat it. And I thought it would be fun if I showed you how to make barbecue sauce. Now, here we have our array of uh, ingredients for barbecue sauce. Now, let me show you the ingredients. Now, we have one cup of ketchup, one half of water, one fourth of apple cider vinegar, three tablespoons of light brown sugar, two tablespoons of sugar, one fourth tablespoon fresh ground black pepper, one fourth tablespoon onion powder, one fourth tablespoon tablespoon ground mustard, one half tablespoon lemon juice, one half tablespoon Worcestershire sauce. Now, these are the ingredients, and without all the ingredients, this would be a really bland barbecue sauce, and this is how you make the barbecue sauce. I learned this from Stephen Reichland myself. Now, after we have put all of these uh, ingredients in our dish here, we're going to simmer the sauce. The word simmer means cook very lightly over heat. That's what the word simmer means. And here we have a nice golden uh, stainless steel simmering pot, which I got from the stove, from KitchenAid. And I didn't actually get it in the stove. What I meant by that is I got it on the KitchenAid website. So. Now we're going to move aside our recipe, and now we're going to pull all our ingredients in. So, we're going to pull our ketchup in the bowl here. So, if you're having some trouble with your ketchup, I really would recommend to just kind of pushing it out of your glass here. So, if you're having trouble, push all the ketchup out of your glass. So that is your ketchup. I'll get a napkin for that a little later. Well, I might as well do it now. So I'm going to just get a little napkin off and wipe. If you wanted to lick, then you could lick. Oh, there's a little <laughs> spillage on the table, but it'll be alright. Don't want to damage my thing there. Now we're going to pull our water. Now when we transfer all this to a pot, I'm going to remind you to slowly, slowly incorporate it so it doesn't go overboard. So then, pull our water in with the ketchup. And then we're going to put our apple cider vinegar in. Pull it in very nicely. Then we're going to put a lumps of brown sugar. These kind of look like sand dunes or cupcake, uh, fed on cupcakes. So we're going to put in all, um, wait, um, all brown sugar and all sugar, brown sugar lumps. Then we're going to put in some hot wood pepper flakes because the way I like my barbecue sauce is spicy and this is not an option. If you do not like spicy barbecue sauces, you really don't need to add it in. But since I really love spicy food, I'm going to add it in for you. Then we're going to put all um going to put <coughs> that gave me the um onion powder that gave me the cough. Some of these ingredients can really make 
you call. <coughs> kind of got a little roof of it. Those are when you put in all uh, ground mustard, ground dried mustard seeds. Not really seeds. And then all uh, lemon juice, which is here, to add some nice flavor, juicy citruses. And uh, we didn't use lemon juice on the citrus salad video that I showed you last time with the orange juice. But today we're using some lemon juice. Now the final ingredient is Worcestershire sauce. Now, if you're from a foreign country and you have a tough time pronouncing this, and believe me, when I was a kid I had a really tough time pronouncing this word. But you practice and you get better. That's the same. Practice makes perfect. Now we're going to whisk it. This looks um, kind of disgusting right now, but it'll taste uh, a little different. So whisk it all in until you have a nice powder. And I'm kind of concerned when to stop mixing, but just a little whisking goes a long way. So just kind of whisk on um, a little there. Let me make sure you don't over whisk. And I'm making sure that this uh, sauce turns out the way I should get it. And I should add a little more of that Worcestershire. <laughs> Sometimes you don't get all of the Worcestershire, but then you of course super good handy spoon. Then, now we're going to transfer this uh, barbecue BBQUS mixture in our bowl. Now, the best end for pulling it is this end. Otherwise, it will spill and you will have to remake, redo the recipe. So, just gently the sauce. This is like mole when you have to um when you have to uh uh grind it, uh process it and then you put it in a bowl and you add it to your pan. Then we're going to take all uh pan outside pan and try to make sure you don't spill. Put it on bono three and I'm going to show you the best way of cranking your hot uh, high heat on. So then we're going to turn it this way. So when you see the med heat on, which I'm having a little trouble with this. There. There. Thank you. Now the heat is on and we're going to let me get my um, spatula over and stow it. So then we're going to stow it very nicely and then we're going to let this simmer for an hour and a half and about a little while after it's done, you need to let it cool down and then I can assemble the, um, the, the uh, thing. Now, if you put your hand on this pot, you will get a real shock because make sure you don't put your fingers on pots. That's why you use um, these gloves. But I'm going to be very careful to not um, put it. Now, this pot is fine, but don't do it on the side of the pan, otherwise you'll have to put your band-aid on. So, now we're going to put our uh, spatula on the side here, and we're going to let this simmer for an hour and 15 minutes. And joking, a pumpu bakalashpi. <laughs> 